What's up guys, this is Aiden Rides and today I'm coming back with a brand, brand new fishing video and in this video we're going to be heading out hopefully um, to get on a good weed line bite for some crappie and um, I don't fish weed lines too much for crappie but um, we're going to go out and try and find them today and hopefully while I'm out there I can give you guys some tips and hopefully kind of help you guys find some fish along some of these weed lines too whether it's panfish, um, just any panfish in general, crappie, sunfish, whatever. Hopefully we can go out and catch them today and I can give you guys some tips so we're gonna head out on the ice and I'll see you guys out there. So there's only two steps, very simple steps that you're gonna have to follow to find these weed line crappie. And the first step is just determining whether your lake is going to be right for a weed line bite or maybe it's gonna be right for a basin bite. They're either gonna be in the basin or they're gonna be around all the weed lines. So it's very easy to tell just by looking at some fishing apps and some depth charts. I just picked out two lakes here that are gonna be perfect for basin bites. These lakes I've been on before and I've targeted basin crappie here, just like this one right here. Um, even though there could be some nice basins too in your lake, this does not mean that you're not gonna catch fish on weed lines, you can definitely target weed line bites, but um, these specific lakes, I would definitely target basin. And the reason why I would do that is you can see all of these deep holes here. There's three really nice looking deep holes. They're very isolated. And um, here's another lake too, perfect example. There's two really deep holes, some nice looking ledges around there. And um, crappie just love that. They'll group up into big schools and they'll just circle around those basins and they'll stack up along ledges and any structure they can find around there. They just love to school up around there and eat. But there's some lakes, just like the lake we're gonna be fishing in this video, that is not going to be ideal to fish basin crappie for. The basin is just a big flat in the middle of the lake. It doesn't have very much contour at all. It just slowly slopes off and it's just a big deep flat in the middle. And that's not to say that there's not fish out there. You can definitely go out there and probably find some crappie, but it's just not gonna be the ideal bite for this lake. When it's just a big flat in the middle, there's not much for those fish to go off of. They can't, there's no cover out there. There's not much out there for the fish to be interested in. And that's why they start relating to the weed lines because the weed line offers cover for them. It offers food. It's an easy way for them to hunt. They can hide in those weeds. They can use it as cover. The weeds just have everything the fish need to live off of. And basically that's when you're going to wanna switch over from thinking about a basin bite to a weed line bite. And here's another perfect example of a lake that just would not have the best basin bite because it is just a big flat in the middle. There is nothing for the fish to really go off of and they will start relating to the weed line. So that's the first major step in finding these crappie is just determining whether your lake is going to be best suitable for a basin bite or a weed line bite. And I will go over a basin bite later in a future video, but today we're just gonna be focusing on the weed line bite. So now that you've determined whether your lake is going to be better for basin or weed line bite, let's say you determine that it is going to be better for weed line bite. Now, the second step that is going to play a major role in finding these fish is just now you got to find the weed line. And that can be very, very simple with uh, a flasher or a sonar, and it makes it very easy if you have those tools. But let's say you don't have a flasher or a sonar. It is also still very doable to find these weed lines. It just might take a little bit more time and a little bit more effort. And even though I have some of those technologies and I do have a flasher, I still use this little tip to help myself find these weed lines. And that's just going on either Google Maps or Google Earth. Um, this is just an image of the weed line we're gonna be fishing today in this video. You can easily see right where that weed line is. And I just took a screenshot. I just need to go to that spot and start trying to find it. Basically with a flasher, um, it's going to be really simple too. You're just going to head to that spot where you think the weeds are and um, you will start marking those weeds on your sonar. All right, you guys, I just drilled my first hole and we have found the weeds here. It's really hard to see on my camera because it just looks like it's flashing, but basically what I see in person is my whole screen is just filled. Just this big full red mark. It's not going to look clear at all. And you're seeing all those weeds down there and we're just not too far here from shore. So there's my first hole. I have found the weeds. So I'm just gonna slowly back off to my left this way, back towards my sled back there, and just keep working your way out until your Vex clears up and there's no more marks all over the screen. And hopefully you can find some fish um, right once it clears up out there. All right, you guys, I've backed off just about probably, I don't know, 10-ish yards from where I just was and I just found the edge of these weed lines here, so luckily I didn't have to drill too far back. 
and I found where this weed line was. So we're marking a few fish down there. I've just got on a little micro Z Viber um, with, I have some wax worms too, but right now I'm gonna try just some crappie nibbles on the back and uh, we'll see if that is enough to get the job done here. I'm marking a couple down there. So we're just gonna drop down here first spot, see what we can find. Hopefully some big crappie here. So now that you guys have found the weed line and you're getting set up, you're ready to fish, um, there's just a few extra things you gotta remember. Basically that's just, you just gotta keep moving around. Whether that means just moving a little bit further down or maybe that would mean just completely switching and going to a whole new weed line across the other side of the lake. Especially if you can find some fish on the weed line that you're at, keep popping holes and trying to follow them around just because those fish are not as isolated around the weed line than they would be in the basin. Um, it takes a little bit of time to find them, but once you can find them, you can really get on them and you can catch some nice fish. Yeah, that's basically all you gotta remember when you're trying to find these weed line crappie. I hope those tips helped you guys out. Should be pretty easy for you guys to get on them and it's a sweet way to catch them too. First fish of the day, just a little sunfish little uh, forge spoon it's got some flash on there um, there we go first fish there's some marks down there so hopefully these guys will eat just switched up you guys to a little tungsten jig little googly eye jig and we got a crappie there we go, first crappie of the night. Hopefully now that it's getting a little bit later, um, the sun's starting to go down, it's already overcast anyways, but now that it's just getting later into the day, closer to that um, night bite time, hopefully they'll start kinda getting fired up here a little bit and we can find them, but there we go. Oh my gosh, big. Freaking sunfish. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is huge. Oh my gosh. Look at how big that guy is. Got the jig right in his mouth. Oh, I thought it was a big crappie. It was a big freaking sunfish. Oh yes. That's a good crappie. I think we found the crappies here. That's a good fish. Oh, second crappie of the night, probably a good nine, 10 incher. Throw them back down there. They're definitely getting more aggressive. Oh my gosh. Oh, that felt like a nice fish. That is, oh my gosh. This was the one we're looking for, guys. Probably about, I don't know, 16 and a half inches. Just an absolute giant. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we came out here and got it done. Another crappie. Oh my gosh, I just cannot hang on to these guys tonight. There we go. Another crappie. Oh, crushed it. Crushed it. I must just be on a little school right now. I'm just some littler crappie.
I don't even know if you guys can see me anymore, but another nice crappie. Probably the last fish for me. It's gonna get dark here and I don't have a hut or anything, so I'm gonna freeze out here in the cold. There we go, you guys. There's the last fish for me tonight. It's getting pretty dark out here, so it's gonna be tough to see and it's gonna start getting cold here, so I'm gonna start packing up soon, but immediately once it gets dark, these guys just do not wanna bite. I've caught a few fish like this after dark, but um, the bite definitely slows down, so it was pretty sweet to get this guy after it got dark here, but um, yeah, I'm gonna get this Jake out of his mouth and um, get him back in the water and he can uh, go back down and chill with some of his friends. gosh okay oh I made it back it is cold out there oh my gosh it's cold but yeah it wasn't like an insane day or anything it's like we went out and just absolutely destroyed them but it was a pretty good day we got um, a few decent crappie I think and um, we also got a nice sunny too there so it was a good day any day that you go out and catch some fish really it's successful so um, yeah, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment down below and just let me know because I can do a lot more of these too if you want me to try and help you guys out a little bit if these tips really did help you. So yeah, you guys, I hope you can get out on the ice here soon. I'll hopefully use some of these tips and I hope you guys can get out and learn some more and I'll see you guys in the next video.